welcome to DCC Train Automation. I'm James. And we're going to talk today about the Lodi Shift Commander and what that does for us and how we can use it. Um, so the Shift Commander is used for doing what, Andreas? It's an accessory interface. You can connect it all the operators like uh, solenoid uh, switching. switching or uh, light um, signal, light room control. Every accessory that you have on your on your layout, except for servos. So, this interface isn't actually driving those accessories. It's managing the modules that actually switch the solenoid, the signal, the uncoupler, the light effect in a building, yes. whatever you would like. So, this interface manages how many modules can we connect to this? You can have on bus one uh, twelve eight eight. Output mo modules on and bus two you can have forty eight so it's so massive. That's quite yeah. That's quite a lot. Here we have the accessory decoder which they call the operator. So this is what we would use to switch the point motors, the solenoids, um, and this really will switch solenoid point motors. Um, so this connects to the shift commander via purple in this case because purple is what we use for accessories. So that's the color coding for these types of devices. So this device here will switch solenoids, as I've just said, MP1 point motors, tortoises, signals as well. Um, so if you want this, the one device can switch any type of accessory you want to drive. And in the configuration software, we can also show you how easy this is to configure. So rather than have to use any CVs, we don't have any CVs at all, is just a drop down list choice. You click on the device you want and you allocate it to the output. So say it's a point motor, it would use three outputs and that would switch that point motor. If you had a signal and it's four aspects, it would use two lots of outputs because it needs the outputs one for every LED. So the more outputs that device needs, the more outputs you use on here. So this module is an eight output device. There is also a lower current 16 output device and that 16 output device is really for lights in buildings and light signals. So here is the 8 output device and here is the 16 output device and as you can see they're both the same form factor. Now we will show you how to add another accessory module to the network and how to add an accessory to that module. So in the software the first thing we do is we scan the bus we can now see it's in the bus here. We go resolve. It adds it to the actual stored bus. And now it's in here. And in the list on the left hand side, we can see the extra new module. If I click on that, it opens up a blank module. So at the moment, there's nothing assigned to it. No signals, no point motors or anything like that. The way we do that, on the screen, on the right hand side, we have switches. So that's our points. And underneath that, we have signals. Now in here, we also have the UK signal. So if we scroll down, here we have UK signal. So if I wanted to put on a three aspect with a left feather, I can drag it to the output, release, and that's now assigned it to those outputs. So as long as we wire in the signal to those outputs, it will just drive it straight away. So we can have, for example, three aspect with feather. We could have a right feather, two right feathers with three aspects. They're all in here. There's loads of them in here. We can just go on and on. Um, what we got here is a four aspect with two feathers. So as you can see, as we start to fill it up, we lose those outputs. Now we've only got one output left now, so we could have a house light on it. So in here, I think it's under lamps. There we go. You could have a candle light. So it also does light effects as well. Um, Gas lamp, okay, we'll put a gas lamp on the last output. There we go, so now we've got a full module, all the things in. We can actually name those items too, so if we click on one of them, I've clicked on the gas lamp, we can add in a name for that. So if you had a specific street with gas lamps on, you might say this is, I don't know, Silver Street. And then that output would light the lamps in Silver Street. So everything is configurable, no CV setting at all, you just have to apply it. So once you've applied it, connect it to the output, then we can actually click at the bottom here, aspect change, and it turns it on and off. So you can even test it before you add it to train control or iTrain or whatever you want. So that's how we configure 
the module, as simple as that. Once the module has been configured, as we have done, now in iTrain we can create the UK signal and all the switching of that aspect can be completed. So now we can just run the trains and as iTrain sets routes, all of the signals will change and automatically set to the right aspect for what iTrain has set. See you in the next video.